And come on. Good boy. Hey guys, so I'm in a much, much better mood than I was uh, yesterday, which was actually about three days ago to you guys. I've got a few hours to kill this evening, so I've just set the dog on another walk, because, well, what else do you do when you own a dog? I want to put some parts back on this. Tonight's goal is to give myself some motivation again with the car. So I want to fit my bumpers on it. I obviously can't fit my headlights because Tom Wright has got those. I need to climb inside, try open the boot, just some little bits and pieces. I've also bought my brand new lip down to fit on the front bumper so I can just see what it looks like. And yeah, that's kind of it really. I just wanted a little chill night, doing some little chill bits, so let's go. Now Nick did say to me that he hadn't re-hooked up the wire to pop the boot trunk. Now I can't work out if it's this that needs to go somewhere, if that needs to, where, where would, what, what the fuck would this do? I feel it trying to do something. I just want to be really careful with the paint. Okay, so I've moved some of my glass and now I'm climbing through the latch. I can't actually work out where it goes. Bear in mind, I've never ever done this before. And the main problem I've got is this roll cage and all these strut bars. Come on, mate. I can't work out where I'm meant to put things. So. Okay, so I managed to open it by moving that little gold thing in there. Don't jump up! Fuck me, go away! Go away! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Fuck me, dog. Please, 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 don't jump up. Don't jump up, don't jump up. So, inside of there, there's a little gold thing. Where was it? In there. And I pulled that, so surely that wire's got to attach to that somehow. Maybe. Oh, I think I see how it goes. Okay, sick. So I actually worked something out. Okay, rad. So this wire obviously needs to be made, go wherever it needs to actually go, and neatly. But what that does, can you see in there? Hang on, let me see if I can show you guys. Where, where is it? Just here. It goes in between there. So yeah, Brad, I worked out how to pop the boot. I mean, I know it doesn't look very neat at the minute, but I will sort that out because I want to start putting things back together. And what this means, now I can open the boot. It means I can gently put my red Asaka spoiler on it and put the rear bumper on by getting to the bolt holes, which are going to be there. Look, there's a few bolt holes along there. What are you winging for? Right, oh my god, oh my god. Right, okay dudes, so here's my red Asaka JDM spoiler. If you're a, if you're a parts geek, like me, it'd be kind of cool I guess for you guys to know that this was the first ever Asaka JDM wing in the UK. Uh, not Ireland, uh, there was a guy that got one in Ireland before me, but this one was the first one ever in England. England, Scotland sort of distance, so yeah, pretty rad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So before we jump on in, and chuck the spoiler on. I just need to make sure the bolts will fit that I've got. <laughs> sweet, sweet. First, what I need to do is give it a quick clean because it looks like shit. And I left all of my cleaning gear in the Integra, which is not here today. I found some of this stuff in the CRV. So stop eating the fucking rag, dude. Fuck's sake. The case that was a fucking day. Oh. Now I would put my carbon one on, but. The carbon one is actually a little bit damaged from the postman. What's going on? This type of question that you ask when alone, but alone is a room full of people. I can barely breathe, but I drink slow. Relax. Finn, there's a whole garage for you to explore, and you want to go right behind the camera tripod, bro. What is wrong with you? What's the problem? Apps and I ask that the past is really happening. There we go. Got the duck bill back on. I think the colour is perfect. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in eye to eye. So the best way to put the rear bumper on, I think it's going to be a jacket off and take the rear wheels off. Uh, because you need to put a, a, a screw in here. And I really don't want to have to be trying to do that with the tie on. So I'm just going to get some actual stands, put it underneath, and get the rear end up. Life in the past is warm like the whole world is a mad shit. Only focus on the mad Shit. 
my mum's kindly taken Finn for me, so I can crack on a little bit without worrying about him. So now I'm gonna put the rear bumper on. Now I've got it up in the air. I'm also gonna take the wheels off and we're gonna put the Volks on just because this is the white oil. <laughs> Sick. Over here, freshly painted rear bumper. Just gonna put it on. I just, like I said, gonna get the car. See, oh, fresh painted rear bumper. Let's put it on real quick. I just really can't wait to see what this car looks like again. Oh man, it's gonna look so sick. Just notice as well, I'm gonna to speak to Nick. I know there's a little issue on the top corner of that bumper. I don't wanna be one of these arseholes, but I might see if he can just redo that for me. Cause I really don't want one little thing like that sticking out on the car. But it'll be okay for now, I guess. But like, yeah, it's gotta be sick. I think cause it's only a test fit, I'm not gonna put all the bolts that go in here in because obviously I need to take it off again when we put everything else back on it. I think for now I'm gonna keep it on just so it doesn't get damaged or anything just laying around the garage. Up next, we're then gonna get that front bumper and put my new lip on it. I'm gonna obviously lower the car again on, on some wheels. But yeah, look, at, let's just, uh, I'll put the rear lights in as well actually. Just so I just loosely put them in just so we can see what they look like. But yeah, it's coming in on nice, huh? Look at that, bubble butt, bubble, bubble, bubble butt. What a sick car. Actress, actresses, shake asses, actors so plastic Just trying to get casted, their manners outlandish, passive Aggressiveness, to to light around here a little bit more Hopefully that brightens it all up a little bit Oh my god uh, Alright, ready? I haven't, I haven't probably looked <gasps> Oh! Oh my god, look how good it looks! Oh. I'm so happy. Eventually, I'm not going to run multi-coloured lugs on it. I think I'm going to run red ones. I didn't ever want to just like do the obvious, but I think the red would probably look best. I can't actually explain how happy I am looking at this car. I don't know exactly when I dropped it to Nick originally, but it, it feels like it's been forever since I last drove this thing, man. Like, to me, it's just so beautiful. This is, I know some people dream of having like, I don't know, some people dream of having McLarens or whatever, but this has always been one of the cars that I've always wanted, an EG Civic. It's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. like. But ever since I was a kid, I've always just thought they were the prettiest little car I've ever seen. I was like, I just love them. I love how they look. And I have a real feeling that I'm about to get like super like lame and all like soppy as soon as this front end is on. I might even try and lay the bonnet down just to see what it looks like. Because obviously it's got the pin, so it'd be easy to put on. I think it might be easy to put on, but I just want to be careful. Wow, seeing it come together. Look at that rear wheel, man. Look at that fitment, boy. There we go. Look at that. Damn. So even with my position at 621 where we only really sell genuine parts, we don't tend to sell like complete knockoffs or complete replicas or anything. This is what happens when you daily a spoon lip on an e a lowered EG. And I can completely understand why people don't want genuine lips and stuff, but to me I have to run them just because it's just like, I don't know, I like supporting the companies that I've always like looked up to. But this is the underside damage on carbon. That happened when uh, 
I used the car every day for a little while when I was with my ex-girlfriend. The estate she lived on had speed bumps and that is what happened. And uh, But yeah, I want to get that lip off and then get my new lip out and put it on just because I've had it since last year and I really, really just want to see it on the car. So, And these are actually spoon bolts as well that I have on holding the bumper in, holding the uh, spoiler the lip on the uh, bumper. They were cheaper than Honda ones, so if you want some spoon bolts, holler at me. Oh, it's never going to focus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go, spoon carbon fiber front lip. Dedicated track part now. <laughs> I picked up this lip in April, I think, last year, so it's been 10 months of sat in this box. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted one of these lips, uh, backyard special, um, we're discontinuing them, so we couldn't get them from Japan anymore, and I was like, shit. And then I remembered I was going to Los Angeles for the iBack Honda Me video link up in the top corner right now save that for later if you haven't seen it already and i contacted matt at icb really nice dude he had a couple in stock um we've always been cool with him he knows us because we do the osaka jdm spoilers and he's the us distributor so he was like yeah cool man i'll help you out and uh, he gave me this lip what well, he gave me i had to give him lots of money for it but he sent me the lip to where i was staying in florida and i bought it home as hand luggage so yeah um it's actually still got the tape and stuff that the u.s government put on it because they were like oh my god man look how jdm this part is and they wanted to have a little snoop to make sure i wasn't smuggling drugs i think you'll see in the other video the video that i did of unboxing this lip but i was like, actually a little bit disappointed with it but that's just because how much money i paid so I don't know, I just think the carbon looks a bit shit but it's not as it's not actually shit obviously it's not actually bad obviously but like for my expectations, they're like up here, not like here. So but yeah, I'll get it out and I'll show you guys. <laughs> so here it is. Here is the lip backyard special. I've only just realized it doesn't have holes on the end. So I'm gonna have to drill through this carbon fiber. <sighs> I'm not skilled enough for this shit, man. Look how flimsy it is as well. This is what I mean, like, I mean, I'm sure it's, it must be good quality for the price it paid, uh, it cost me, but I'm just really like disappointed with the finish and stuff. I remember how shit it looks now. Look, you can even see like there's a little bit of a crack on it, not a bit of damage in the weave, which is really annoying to me. But what can you do? What can you do? Nothing. That's, that's the honest truth of these companies. Nothing. Yeah, it goes like that, doesn't it? Do you know what? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this fitted up. And I'll catch you guys again in a second. So, uh, we've, I've just fitted the lip. And then been... And what we need to do is screw through the carbon fibre. <laughs> 560 pounds! eBay special, mate. Oh, my God. I, I screw through the carbon fibre. I put it onto this. So, it doesn't even, like, bolt up properly. I haven't even looked at it properly yet. But, Jack's here. And we're gonna look at his new car. He came on one drift day with me and was like, "Yep, yeah, I need to, I need, I need something." Let's just, oh, look how beautiful it is! Excellent, man. The old drift wagon boy. <laughs> Are you gonna skid it? Yeah, mate, hundred percent. Been skidding all day with Rob's here. Really? <laughs> right, let's get this shit up here. This is where I get nervous because. We're good. With Jack's help, I've managed to get the bonnet on as well. And we've also put the front volks on. Obviously, it sits higher on the front because there's not an engine in there. And we will obviously get that lower for the future. Backyard special lips on. I haven't bolted the bumper up uh, because I haven't got the screws for it. But there she goes. She's looking more like a car again. Real excited to, well, have her looking like an actual car again one day. So, yeah, sick. I think... We're gonna call it quits for tonight and go and get some Nakata. <laughs> <laughs>
Dudes, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the car. Please subscribe for more videos. There's going to be a lot more on the EG coming. God, it looks so sick. I'm looking at it in the screen. It just looks so <laughs> sick. Yeah, hit subscribe to stick around. And I hope you have a good rest of whatever the fuck you're doing today. Peace.